Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Reaper on World of Warships console. That's right boys and girls, we're back on here. And we're going to be covering the Tier 2 British Cruiser, the Colodan, Colodan. Um, Yeah, let's cover what she could do, the stats of the ship a little bit, and take her out into a gameplay and see how she performs. So right off the bat, she's a Tech 2 ship, so she does get upgrades. That's the one and number one thing she does release on to the tier two Valkyrie, the British tier two excuse me, uh, destroyer, or and the Danny Danny Dana uh, tier three British cruiser. So she does release on to those. She only gets armor piercing and torpedoes. She gets a damage control party, which basically every ship does, and she gets a heal. HP per second, 94%. Um, consumable duration, 28 seconds. And reload time, 80 seconds. She only gets two of them. So, pretty decent. Hit points, 19,000 hit points. Main battery, she gets 152 mm 45 PX triple three eyes. Which, yeah, I don't know what that means. But she gets five of these guns, so basically she gets a good bit of firepower. Firing range is 11.2 kilometers. Reload time is at 8 seconds, and turning time is 18 seconds. Max AP shell damage is 2,900. But remember, these are AP, so most of the time they are going to bounce sometimes, especially off a of battleship since you're a tier 2 ship. The torpedoes is 533mm DR Mark II. She gets four of these. So basically, she gets four different launchers. Um, well, she only put, can put four torpedoes on one side, which I will show you in a little while. Uh, reload time is 21 seconds. Turning time is 7.2 seconds. Max damage is 10,000. Pretty decent. Torpedo detection range by sea is 1.1 kilometers. Torpedo range is 6 kilometers and torpedo speed is 53 knots. The AA defense is pretty decent, not the best at tier 2. I mean, it's anti aircraft defense, so what do you expect out of it? For all, for first off, you get 7.7 .7 millimeter maximum machine guns. You get two of these, which are Mark 1 maximum machine guns. Average damage per second, 3. Fine range is one kilometer. Then you get 40 millimeter Victor's two pounder QF Mark II guns. You get two of these. Average damage per second 11, and fine range is two kilometers. One kilo. The other one has one, so this one has two. And this last guns of AA is 76.2 millimeter 45 HA Mark IV. You only get two of these. Average damage per second four. And firing range is three kilometers. So basically, that's your long range anti aircraft guns. The max speed is 29.6 knots. The turning circle radius is 530. And the rudder shift time is 5.5 seconds. The concealment detection range by sea is 8.6 kilometers. After firing a gun from the sea is 11.2 kilometers. Detection range when ship is on fire is 10.6 kilometers. Detection by air is 5.1 kilometers. Firing your main guns from the air is 8.2 kilometers. And when the ship is on fire is 8.1 kilometers. Granted detection ability range is 2 kilometers. And when firing in smoke is 3.7 kilometers. The armor of the ship, well... I mean, it's a cruiser, so I guess you get some kind of armor. Not the best at tier 2, but you know, it's a cruiser. The 4 in armor belt is 36 to 76, pretty decent. Bottom is 10. The 4 in plating is 6. The 4 in deck is also 6. The 4 in outward ship is 6. The aft in armor belt is 38 to thir uh, 76. The bottom is also 6, the aft end plating is 6, the aft end deck is also 6. The cooling tower bottom is 152, so that's basically your best armor you're going to have on the ship. Cooling tower side is 152, 
point tower top is 152 and side plating is 6 and the tops, top side plating is also 6. So basically your 152 armor is going to be your best friend at that. Frontal plates is 76, side plates is 76 and the top plates is also 76. The uh, Citadel Arthward ship is 13 to 25. The Citadel Armor Belt is 57 to 76. The Citadel Bottom is 13. The Citadel Deck is 10 to 16. The Citadel Arthward ship is 13 to 25. And the Citadel Plating is also 10. So keep that all remind me there guys. That the armor is decent, but it's not the best armor on a cruiser. I mean, it's still a cruiser. It's still going to take AP rounds very badly, um, especially if you get sitted out. But how does she perform in a battle? Oh, wait, I forgot one thing too. My captain. Wow, I almost forgot about this guy. I put on him. Price. Precis. Precis. Um, probably don't in that name. <laughs> penetration multiplier is 2%. Increases your penetration of AP rounds, which helps this British cruiser uh, because it does only AP. Full speed ahead. Max cruiser speed is 2%, and rudder shift time is 2%. And I have sponge, which increases damage for your cruiser 2%. Armored HP 4%, and armored repair time 4%. Then I have Acoustic Charm, so, Sonar Cooldown Time is 10%, sonar, sonar Duration is 2%, and Sonar Charge is 1%. And the legendary skill I have is By the Book, Incoming Damage for your Cruiser is 20%. So it takes less damage than 20%. But I think that's probably it. enough talk about the ship in the port. Let's take her out, let's see what she can do, and i see you guys on the battlefield. See you there. So guys, we're back on Polar. Actually, we haven't been on this map for a while, have we? <laughs> this was a interesting game. Uh, for one, we're bomb tiered. So, yeah. The th problem about this cruiser, and, and I know some of you are probably going to go say, but thank you, then show us about the torpedoes. Well, just to let you know, there's two torpedo launchers on both port and starboard side. Along with it, there's two torpedo tubes inside each launcher. So basically, you can only launch four torpedoes on port or starboard. So that's something that you need to know by head hand, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if I didn't let you guys know about that, but the thing is about the British light cruisers, until you reach tier 4, you do spread up into two different areas in the cruiser line. You spread up into either the light cruiser line or the heavy cruiser line. Well, the heavy cruisers are more of your typical with HE and AP. Your light cruisers only have AP, so it makes it a little bit more of a challenge to get those good hits on, on enemy ships and stuff. So, yeah, in a way, it's pretty hard. Right here, as you see, I didn't want to shoot, but I was already detected, so I decided to fire at that Japanese battleship. The Ichichi? 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 Well, a aircraft carrier wants me dead. I have no clue why. He tried launching two torpedoes at me and just failed to hit me because I slowed down. I didn't know they were coming for me. Fired that shot at that guy. Didn't hit him. Knocked out one aircraft. Come on, is this shot going to do anything to this battleship? The Orion? Nope. Well, actually, I get two penetrating shots and two shattered shots. I fired another several. Getting close to this island and very slowly going towards this way because I don't want to get hit by torpedoes or get hit by any enemy fire. Fired another several. So far, it's only did 2,000 damage. Okay, only one shattered. The other shots, I have no clue where they disappeared to. So I fire another salvo. Must have expected much of it. I see this Toronto, Toronto, 
it's a Italian cruiser at tier 2 and I look at him real quick I fire my first arrow at him and I get spotted so I go full speed ahead well there's a carrier there's that cruiser he's way out of range with my guns so I can't hear him and this guy is AFK so I fire my second salvo at him wasn't expecting much out of this salvo um, then I see the Orion popping back out from cover uh, We'll see if we could get some shots on this guy again. Well, fire my two shots at him. One penetrated, but it only penetrated his upper, well, his superstructure. So I fire one shot. Again, only one pen. Up to 3,000 damage. <coughs> Try for that, guys. Let's see, can we get more shots onto this guy? I want to kill this guy. Well, I got. Two penetratings and two shatters, and I launched four torpedoes. As you see, there's between a widespread of torpedoes with British cruisers and destroyers, or you can get a simple fact of um, what's it called? Ripple torpedoes. Well, that guy's dead. We did get a few shots onto him, but our torpedoes ain't gonna do much because, well, you know, he's he's dead. So, what do you expect out of those torpedoes? They ain't gonna hit nothing, are they? Nope, not really. Well, we're out here looking for enemy ships. They are all out of my range of my main batteries. So that does mean that there is no ship that is in range for my guns to actually 100% directly hit. By this moment, I was beginning to think, well, what's this? Go over this way. Let's see if we can find that AFK ship. If he's even still AFK. Well, we just see Arkansas. American battleship at tier 3. is a premium battleship. And there's the Icho Shushi. Is it Shushi? I guess spotted. I don't know why I'm getting spotted by. And I forgot there was a cruiser, AFK cruiser here. But I wasn't thinking he was going to be AFK anymore. Well, there he is. I see him again. Well, I start turning. I'm looking at his smoke stacks. If you can see, there's no smoke coming out of them. So that that meant he's 100% AFK. And that gave me surety that he was 100% AFK. Well, I'm starting to open a fire with him. I'm giving broadside towards him. Um, even though being AFK, I don't want to get too, too close because he does have secondaries. So I'm pouring my third salvo into this guy. Doing some damage over pens. Hoping for a citadel. Do I get any of this guy? My battleship hits. I hit him. I citadeled him. I do detect the carrier. Well, my battleship, which is a Wyoming class battleship, does kill him. So I'm start focusing my fire on the carrier. Now, this is the guy that tried to appeal in me at the beginning of the game. Well, I got two citadels out of this guy. So. I'm trying to weave a little bit so wait if he does know I'm here, which he should. Um, yeah, so I can dodge any torpedoes. I get two penetrating shots. Fire another salvo at him. I thought those torpedo bombers was coming for me, but they're not. They were just going back onto his ship. I get five penetrating shots. Fire one shot because, well, I'm turning to give this side so I don't run into the map border. That shot missed. The battleship's also shooting at this guy. He's launching dive bombers. That shot also misses. So I'm up to 28,000 damage at this point. Not bad. That shot uh, misses. I'm just getting some misses now. So I try to aim in front of the ship. Shoot all these shots. One, two penetration shots. Three penetration shots. And, yep, his dive bombers sounds like they're coming for me. They missed. I got three penetrating shots. I was saying to launch my torpedoes since he's just sitting there. I was expecting these to hit. And you will watch and see what happens. I got one penetrating shot out of that shot. Up to 33,000 damage. 
as you could hear my anti-aircraft guns are open fire that shot completely misses wait for my last gun to reload I shoot him I got four penetrating shots now five but still good enough and he's going forward so those torpedoes completely misses so I hit him with four more shots was expecting to turn to give this side of my torpedoes but I realized this side was reloaded already so I was like okay let's launch we launch one spread we launch the other spread he does launch his tor uh, torpedo bombers I hit him with at least well, three more shots one bounce and one pen but we got one torpedo to torpedo onto him and killed him and here comes a French cruiser the Foriant and the Arkansas is way over there which I'm very happy with which looks like he's taking a good banging but this aircraft carrier is f after me and we aim forward of that ship the French cruiser we sit out him and got the kill nice I'm still spotted my anti-aircraft guns are still kind of blazing away I only get hit once so really good and here comes his torpedo bombers I knocked out one of his other aircraft oh boy well at least I knew they were coming so that means I had enough time to dodge these torpedoes because as you see I start turning my rear so I that could miss and then turn my front a little bit more so it 100% misses me I mean, it's not going to kill me with one hit, so, yeah. But I think he stopped trying to go after me, and now he's going after our, my battleship friend over there, the Orion. But I'm never going to catch up to the Arkansas battleship, and he's he's dead. What do you guys say, guys, when you get a decent good game like this, when you're bottom tiered? And 54,000 credits nice but i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to and like always i'll catch you guys on the next one bye for now